As he continues his march towards Wayne Gretzky's all-time goal record, we take a look at where Ovi could land among the greats when it's all said and done. Hey, everyone. Welcome into another edition of Off the Post. Rob Wong joined alongside by Toronto Sun Sports columnist Steve Simmons and Post Media Hockey columnist Bruce Garriock. And guys, when it looked like Father Time may have caught up with Alex Ovechkin during his pursuit of Wayne Gretzky's all-time goals record, Ovi now has 18 goals in his last 24 games and needs just 47 to surpass the great one. Bruce, as we continue to watch Ovi's resume build and look back at what he's been able to accomplish. Where do you think he'll rank among the all-time greats when he decides to hang up the skates? Well, it's interesting because, you know, I, I kind of have a hard time with this one and the way that the way that it's he the the guy that he's chasing and how the chase is gone. And, you know, when, there are some records that aren't to be broken, and I always kind of felt that that Wayne Gretzky's never would be, Steve. Um you know, he ranks 13th all time among scorers. I kind of feel like now he's going to play until he breaks the record. And I get that. Um, and look, the, the things he's been able to do in Washington have been unbelievable. He, he, he won a Stanley Cup with the Capitals. He played a very big role. Where does it put him all time? I don't know. Um, it, it, to, to me, it's a complicated one. I have a lot of respect for Alex Ovechkin. I just, I, 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 I don't know why I have mixed feelings on him breaking Gretzky's record. Maybe it's because I think, I think now the motivation is to play until he does it. And, and I'm not sure that's the right motivation either. Every time I try and write off Ovi, you know, he just comes back and then he scores and then he scores and then he scores some more. So let's let's take some perspective here. It's much harder to score goals today than it's been than it was when Wayne Gretzky scored. So begin with that premise. Second, yeah, good point. Se yeah. Second thing, Wayne Gretzky was not what you'd call a natural goal scorer. Mike Bossy was a natural goal scorer. Wayne Gretzky was just a phenomenal player who happened to score, who had more assists than anybody else had points. Uh, so 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 let's let's. If, if, if I'm looking at goal scorers right now, Bossy's the best one I've ever seen. Ovi's second best. He's better than Gretzky because basically that's all he does. He doesn't do the other things. He doesn't set people up the way Gretzky set people up. And so you're looking at a phenomenally skilled player who did one thing exceptionally well. I mean, did other things well too, obviously. But, you know... He, to me, he's the second best goal scorer I've seen in 40 years of, of covering the sport. And so I'm going to put him right behind Mike Bossy. If Bossy played longer, I think Bossy would have got the record. Um, can I say, can I just chip in here a little bit? Yeah. I, for, for me, I think it, it's Brett Hall. But go ahead. Okay, so I, 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 would, Hall, I would go Bossy. Brett Ovi. Hall has one of the yeah. best shots I think I've ever seen in, well, in my life. I'd go, go Bossy, Ovi, Brett Hall if I'm going in order. Um, and, and because of Ovi's year after year after year, and yes, he's playing till he breaks the record, but this year he looked like a, you know, for lack of a better word, a dead body, and he comes back and he's, he's scoring again and he's scoring regularly and he's looking like a real dangerous guy. Where do you rank him all time? That, that's where, where it does get complicated, Bruce. He's not a top 10 player to me. He's not, uh, but he's right on that cusp of, of 12 to 15 all time. You know, I have Crosby in the top six or seven all time. I'm going to have McDavid in, in that, in that thing too, but you're going to have Gordy Howe. Oh, Gordy Howe's in, you know, Gordy Howe's in that yeah. top four. You're, you're, you know, yeah. I, I have, I have my sort you're of, Mount, Bobby Orr. I have Orr and Gretzky mm -hmm. and Lemieux and Howe by themselves. Now who's five, who's six, who's seven. You know, so you go through those spots. And where do where do goalies mix in there? Because yeah. there's been some great goal, like yep. it's but and defense defensemen, like it, it's tough. So to to me, it's kind of like where do you put Bobby Hall? Where do you put Ovi? Where do you put you know? There's different guys, different ways, how different ways they play the games. Where do you put Steve Eiserman? Where do you put Joe Sackett? You know those kind of things. But he's he's a top twenty player of all time. I don't see him in the top 10, um, but he's right around there somewhere. And what there's nothing wrong with being <laughs> in the top 10 when you're talking about thousands upon thousands of guys who've played in the NHL.
Meanwhile, uh, I will admit that I am a fan of video replay, and I think it should take as long as you need to get a call right, but I can understand the other side of it. Last week at the NHL GM meeting, Steve, there was discussion about expanding the coach's challenge rule to include puck shot over the glass. Are you a fan of giving coaches even more opportunities to challenge? No, I'm not a fan of giving them any opportunities to challenge, frankly, because of what it's become. It's not coaches challenging. It's some guy in a room somewhere else with a computer in front of them searching for offsides that may call back a goal that was scored a minute later. Uh, I, I, I understand why they put the rule in. I understand why they went to replay. I understand all of the reasons. I don't see how it's made the game better. I don't see how it's, it's it, to me, it's what do we want? We want more scoring. What have they done? They've eliminated goals. And so now they're going to add other things in and give coaches more challenges, which means the guys in the computer room, you know, you're going to need two more of those now because to, so they can watch every possibility of whatever else is happening. Uh, and yet, yeah, I, I, I love the idea of getting calls right. I hate what's happened in the NHL. I hate what's happened in the NFL. I don't like what's happened in baseball. I, I just don't think what the idea was for instant replay and what the execution has been are, are can meet two different things. See, Rob, I'm with you. I, I like the fact that they get it right. Um, and, and, and I'm a little like you and take as long as it take as long as you need um, to get it right. And um, my only thing is I don't agree with adding more to it. I think I, you know, the puck over the glass they should get rid of that penalty anyways. It's, 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 uh, I think it's a dumb penalty. You know, it's like, I think they should get rid of the trapezoid that was made for Bar Martin Brodeur. Well, he doesn't play anymore. No goalies handle the puck like Martin Brodeur did. So you can get rid of the trapezoid too. Um, uh, I, I just think that um, let's not add more layers to this by adding more instant replay. Um, I, I, so I just think, you know, what, what, the, what they can replay right now is fine. And the other thing is that the situation room can, can initiate replays as well. So I think that, that all you're doing by adding this is just adding more layers. And I don't believe that instant replay needs more layers. What I can't stand is that offside call where you watch it 13 times and you still haven't figured out whether it's offside or not. And there's, did the skate cross oh, the before the, on the ice cross? Yeah. Uh, that wasn't what this was meant to be. This was meant because there was a, a grievous offside missed in a game. And how, how could we have that happen? Well, a grievous offside, I understand. When it's one eighth of an inch and the linesman can look at the play on a tape 15 times and still can't tell me whether it's offside or not. You know, that's not what this was meant to be. It's, yeah, Rob, it, let's get the calls right. When we're talking about, you know, minute, tiny things, I'm not sure that's getting the calls right. And I think there should also be a time limit. From the time that the call is to the time that the goal is scored or whatever happens, there needs to be a time limit. If there's, if there's more than 30 seconds or whatever it is, you know, you've already accepted play at that point in time. The, the line, linesmen, referees, everybody, they make mistakes. Players make way more mistakes than officials do, by the way, every single night. All right, we'll see what happens here with the uh, expansion of the replay and if it does ultimately go through. As always, leave your thoughts in the comments section below. For Steve Simmons and Bruce Garriock, I'm Rob Wong. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll talk to you next week.